How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. So, we've got one more side story to take care of, I believe. Let's do it. Balance. Oh, boy. Well, we got two more side stories, but one's not unlocked yet. Let's go! Oh, boy. While Natsuki is messing with the orientation of her manga in the closet shelves, Sayori approaches from behind and pulls her into an embrace. Okay. Why? Hi! Hi! The literature club has been in full swing since Natsuki joined. Including her, the club is now comprised of four members. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and Monica. Each club member had received a day in the spotlight to share all their favorite kinds of literature with each other. Natsuki was first as she shared her passion for manga. Then Sayori shared her love for poetry as well as how she gets goes about writing it herself. Monica, who has multiple liter literary interests, decided to focus her day on short stories. And finally, Yuri managed to demonstrate her obsession with fantasy, with a little help and encouragement from Sayori. After the week was spent on their presentations, Monica decided to give the club members this next week to freely explore each other's literary interests. Sayori, having spent most of her time in the club so far, was with Yuri's fantasy books, is rather excited to begin her journey into Natsuki's manga collection. I want to read with you today. Tell me which one I should pick. Uh, well, that depends on the kind of stuff you like. I mean, there's like romance, drama, comedy, mystery. Fair enough. That is a fair statement. I like all those things. Oh, boy. You don't make things easy, Sayori. Sayori reaches out and pulls a random book from the shelf and inspects the cover. Shouldn't this girl be wearing more clothes? Y you wouldn't like that one. In a panic, <laughs> Natsuki snatches the book from Sayori's hand, then replaces it on... Replaces it... What? I feel like there should have been a better word used for that. Then replaces it on the shelf in a less conspicuous location. Natsuki, why are you watching hentai? <laughs> okay, well, if you really have no preference, then let's just start with something that's easy to go and get into. Okay. What do you got? A lot of these don't start to get really good until, like, a few volumes in. And I wouldn't ask someone to make that kind of commitment unless they are already really into manga. I couldn't handle it. I couldn't handle it. I did it with Yuri's book, at least. Okay. Well, I'm more considerate than that. Although, I'm kind of impressed by your attention span if you put that much effort into her book. No, I have the attention span of a donut. <laughs> yeah, probably because you eat a lot of them. But I love my friends, and I can do anything if it's for them. Well, okay, then. Let's pick you something that even donuts can read. What? I didn't say I was a donut. I just said I had the attention span of one. Aw, are you just trying to call me sweet? You're so cute. No! How did you get, that to get to that conclusion? Honestly, I don't even know, Natsuki. So you're always weird. You don't call me that. A donut? You're cute. Oh, how come? I just don't like it. I don't need a reason. But I'm betting she has one. Natsuki yanks a book from the shelf and closes the closet doors. If someone asks you to stop, then you just need to stop. Please, people need to realize that. She's not wrong. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I, I really didn't mean to hurt you. Nah. Sorry, it wasn't you. Natsuki shakes her head 
while pulling the second chair over to her desk. Okay. I was talking... I was talking about something else. I, I didn't mean to get angry all of a sudden. Alright. Natsuki averts her gaze and mumbles. You were, like, well, like a nice person, so I wasn't talking about you. I still learned a valuable lesson. Sayori speaks softly as well, feeling shy after receiving the unexpected compliment. Well, anyway, here's a book. So just start it whenever you feel like it. What's it about? Well, it's like a comedy, and there's romance too, obviously. Sayori looks at the title. It's called Love is Another Word for Luck. Is it? Okay. It's about a girl who keeps accidentally running into the same guys, and then you find out, like, well, you should just read it. But you have to tell me what you think. I already guessed who you're going to ship yourself with. You'd be so funny if I'm right. Sure. I don't get it. Ah, never mind. Let's not work at worry about that yet. Just make sure you tell me what you think. Oh, okay. I'll stop then. Hey, maybe tomorrow we can do poetry too. Oh, um, yeah, I, I guess. But don't you want to finish this first? Yeah, but we can do both. I mean, unless you don't like poetry, then I won't make you or anything. No, it's just... Well, never mind. We can worry about it tomorrow. This ain't gonna bode well, is it? After the club meeting ends and Natsuki and Yuri leave, Monica strikes up a conversation with Sayuri. I see you got Natsuki to share some of her manga with you. I really want to become better friends with her. She's so enthusiastic and expressive. I could just listen to her talk. She's so... Uh, I'm not sure if she meant I can't say that to her, or if I just can't say it at all. Say what? N nothing. I, I am a woman of respect. But Natsuki is a woman of cute. And there it is. There it is. Oh, I said it. <laughs> <laughs> What's so bad about that? I don't know. But you know, there's one thing I'm kind of worried about. Sometimes I'm afraid that Natsuki actually doesn't like me very much. Oh, that's ridiculous. How could you feel that way? Well, I mean, just little signs. Like how she only says hi to me after I say hi to her first. It feels like she only gets excited to talk to me when it's about manga and other stuff she likes. Um... She just seems... Dismissive a lot. She was like that when I brought up poetry. Yeah, but that doesn't mean she doesn't like you. She's probably just shy, you know? Maybe. <laughs> My stupid head is just making me worry for no reason. It likes to do that. I can relate to that. It's okay. Try not to worry so much. Everything will be great. But you can always talk to me about any concerns that you have. I'm here to help. Okay. You're the best! Sayori gives Monica a quick hug. Well, I'm gonna keep trying because I love her and I want to get closer to her. Uh... You got this. Um... What? Okay, after the next club meeting starts, Sayori is the last one in as usual. Trotting into the room, she sees Natsuki sitting alone by the closet, reading what must be manga. Without hesitation, Sayori pulls up a chair and plops herself down right next to her. Hello there! Hi! What you reading? Can I read it with you? Natsuki pulls the book away from Sayori. I can't just start in the middle. There are spoilers. Besides, what about the one I gave you yesterday? Sorry, I was just curious. Well, anyway, I've been so I've been waiting forever for this volume to come out. It just came out yesterday, so 
Oh, that's exciting. Well, I'll let you read it then. Mm -hmm. Can I sit next to you, though? Uh, sure. Sayori plops herself down next to Sa Natsuki. Then pulls out a blank sheet of paper. Uh-oh. This doesn't sound like it's gonna go well. Natsuki reads in silence, save for the periodic flutter of a page being released from beneath her thumb. From Sayori's side, only the light tapping noises of her pen meeting the paper can be heard. Time passes. Sayori's paper is filled with scribbles and the margins are lined with stick figures. Natsuki lets out a deep sigh and closes her book. Did you finish? No, but it's a good stopping point. My head is swimming. I need a break. From what? Natsuki stretches her arm. Aren't you bored? No, oh, I was writing. Oh, I saw all the stick figures and thought you were just bored. I just draw those when I'm thinking or waiting for inspiration. I made friends with them all. This one is sad because she thinks the night sky is pretty, but she can't look up at the stars in public without everyone thinking she's a weirdo. How would the what? And this one has problems with his back, but the doctors can't figure out what's wrong with him. <laughs> what the heck? You're the weirdo. Want to read the poem I'm working on? Sure, I guess. Sayori slides the paper over to Natsuki. As Natsuki reads through the poem, she furrows her eyebrows. <laughs> oh, boy. That can't be good. She slides the paper back over to Natsuki. Don't you ever feel weird just sharing all of your thoughts and feelings like that? I mean, your poems are, like, vaguely emotional. That's a lot of really good poems, actually. Is that bad? Well, no, it was just an observation. I, I think people can get closer to each other if they find ways of expressing their feelings. Yeah. Well... Um, Natsuki begins to prote protest, but she can't find a good way of putting her thoughts into words. I know I'm looking to this side a lot, but normally I'd say it's because I'm looking at the time of my computer, but it's actually just because I'm getting lost in my mind against this. Doesn't that even depend more on the kinds of friends you have? I don't know. To each their own. But I've never met anyone I feel comfortable sharing my poems with. Not that it's you. It's just, it's just how I am. You write poems? Ugh. Yes, she does. You never told me that. I just thought you wrote other stuff. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that too, but... You should. I mean, would you ever want to share? Like I said, I don't do that. But... Can we talk about something else? I'm sorry. Oh boy. Not of this again. Eh, this is not good. It's not your fault. It just makes me uncomfortable. I can't help it. Still. Nah, nah, nah. Still, I'm sorry. It's fine. Well, let's move on to something that makes us both happy. I should continue the book you gave me. I didn't get very far yet. Sure. Oh, jeez. Over the next few days, Sayori begins each club meeting by approaching Natsuki with unwavering enthusiasm. It's Natsuki! Oh, boy. Natsuki! Ah, Good golly. It's all about Natsuki. Now it's just all about Natsuki. Hi, Natsuki! The very, at the end of one club meeting, Monica, who has become rather invested in Sayori's friendship mission, 
starts an innocuous conversation with Natsuki while she's packs she packs up. It's cool that you've been finding time to spend with Sayori. She was pretty excited for the chance to read manga with you. Yeah. I'm sure you've been enjoying the chance to share too, right? Yeah. Mostly. Hmm? Natsuki glances over her shoulder, but doesn't reply further. What's on your mind? Nothing. I don't talk about people behind their back. Oh boy. This is not good. Natsuki falls silent. She just fidgets instead of getting back to what she was doing. As though she wants to say more. It's okay to share your feelings. That's different from talking about someone behind their back. It depends on what's going to be said. I guess. I just hate when people talk about me behind my back. But I'm better than... Oh, I see. That's smart. That's that's good. Monica shares a bright smile. You're really considerate. Um, thanks, I guess. But it doesn't feel like I feel like it. You can trust me. Natsuki stands in silence for a moment, still fidgeting. I just feel smothered sometimes. Like it's too over. What's going on is a bit overwhelming. I'm not used to someone being, like, all over me right after we meet. Yeah, yeah, overwhelmed. I mean, it's fun to hang out with her, but... I just have no control over the pace. I can't just meet someone and instantly become best friends with them, and, like, share everything about myself. It's just not how it works. I just want to chill out sometimes. I didn't realize that was happening. It's fine. Why would you have? I know. I just feel bad about it. I know Sayori, so I should have realized. Monica navigates through her tinge of guilt, which has surfaced mainly due to her being the one who previously encouraged Sayori's behavior. Uh, despite... Not knowing the situation, Monica can't help but feel a little responsible. Do you want me to talk to her about it? No, I wouldn't like that. Well, I could, I don't know, I could like divert her into another club activity for you or something. No way! That would be so un underhanded and mean. Sorry, I didn't think that one through. Besides, just because I complained about it doesn't mean I'm asking for someone to solve my problems for me. True. I'm sorry. I guess I just instinctively want to try to solve problems, even if I haven't been invited to. Yeah, that's Monica for you. It's fine. I was like, I was talking to Sayori about it. But it would make things really weird between us. I feel like it would make her just constantly be afraid that she's bothering me. Okay, Natsuki, you're starting to sound like Monica, and Monica, I bet at some point you're going to start to sound like Natsuki. It's weird! I don't know how to just keep things natural. Well, I think if you do a good, ch I think if you do a good job expressing all your feelings, she would totally understand. Sayori really wants to be the best she can be for other people. I think she would actually be happy that you want to improve your friendship with her. Maybe. Ugh! It just feels so dumb! Talking to someone about how to be friends with them. It's just weird and not cool. Monica shrugs. It's the literature club. Then she mumbles through a stifled laugh. It's not the cool club. Hey! <laughs> Sorry. 
That just tickled me for some reason. Look, I know that you're kind of in a tough spot and that it's hard for you to really express yourself. Yeah, understandably so. But you've really demonstrated to me that you're great in self-reflection and critical thinking, even if it doesn't feel like it to you. I think that's the most important part of being able to navigate through these things. So I believe that you'll find the right thing to do. Oh. Natsuki instinctively starts to reject the compliment, but she can't find any excuse to do so. Thank you. Natsuki gathers her things, then she finishes her thought in a mumble. And I'm still glad I joined the club. Even if it's weird sometimes. Monica smiles, but Natsuki turns her back and walks away before waiting for a reply. It was an unusual way for Natsuki to express her appreciation, but Monica knew what she meant. It made Monica feel like everything really was going to be okay. Oh boy. Well, that was shorter than normal. Why don't we look through a couple of different... Wait, what? part two. We'll get to that in a little bit. Not this time. Oh, hey, that's unlocked. That's unlocked. That's unlocked. What the hell is going on here? Finish the side story respect two. Monica's got a lot of imagery here. Well, we've got poems at the wazoo coming through for... To and fro. Huh. We got quite a bit. It's just like no secrets have been unlocked yet. Neither can I find out how to unlock them. Okay, there's this one. Which we've seen. There is literally one more background image. That's sketches. Not many of them. We got one promo. What the hell are the other promos? I'm just kind of... To be honest, I'm kind of just closing up on all the stuff that we've seen. Okay. Well, we got one more side story as of right now. And after that, we will go ahead and head back into the last route. Um, now, I know this episode was much, much shorter, and next one might be too. I don't know. Afterwards, though, definitely expect about this, a similar length. Um... Why don't we listen to some of the music just to bypass the time? Oh, it's that. Okay. That. What does Lavender miss? This is new. This was... Okay, my confession I recognize. And then here's this... Okay. Ah, I see. Dusk. I'm assuming the rest of these are kind of just part of... Nice! Well, we can listen to all these or we can end on a short note. It's not going to happen often. Why don't we change the background? Um. You know why the heck not? Nice. Can I get out of this thing? I guess not. Okay. Well. As I let this music play, I'm going to end this much, much shorter episode here. If it turns out that the um, side story, the final side story before we have to pick up the last two, before we have to start up the final route, um, if it turns out the side story ends up being 
much shorter than we'll start up this the Sayori's path. Um, if it turns out it's about the length, normal length, then there you go. Bob's your uncle. Anyway, I'm going to leave this little, episode, this shorter episode of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus here. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button. It's so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Got a suggestion for a visual novel or horror game you'd like to see on here? Let me know in the comments below. Um, Want to check out any other visual novels that have been done on this channel prior to this one? Click the link in the bottom right hand corner. The train will take you to that destination. Or if you missed any of the stops on this lengthy ride, click the link across my head here and the train will take you there. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!